This is your boy Jermaine D876. Yeah, man. So today we're gonna look at you know education. You know, education is the cornerstone, the benchmark at, of any society. And we're gonna look at streaming inside Jamaican education system. You know, how it affects teaching, how it affects teachers, how it affects the students. Yeah, Jermaine D and education. You know I'm a teacher, yeah. Peace out. One policy I want to look at is streaming. Streaming is practiced across Jamaica's education system for decades which involves the placement of students in classes based on their academic abilities. The practice has been criticized for sidelining students who may not have displayed the attributes to meet the strict academic requirements. It has been supported for ensuring that brighter students are not held back. It was introduced to also solve other problems ranging from indiscipline, poor performance at exam level, and hundreds of qualified teachers immigrating to North America and Europe. Isin Evans, senior lecturer at the University of the West Indies, Kingston, Jamaica, stated in her book Inside Jamaican Schools, streaming is the act of grouping students according to various criteria. It is an important aspect of the structure now intricately connected to the competitive academic curriculum. She went further to say, Students are sought into categories according to the student's knowledge of aspect of the competitive curriculum. Knowledge that reflects the existing social structure and social economic opportunities. In Jamaica, one, in Jamaica, once students are categorized and streamed, they are more likely to remain in that stream for the majority of their school life. Students remain in this low stream because of the initial gap in their knowledge and the failure of many schools to address those gaps by introducing meaningful remedial work or the absence of teaching methods to accommodate the different learning styles. A reform for secondary education, a ROSE program, was introduced in the school system grades 7 to 9 to advocate for the mixed ability groupings, which would minimize streaming at the secondary level. But there were evidence that teachers were finding it difficult to carry out the integration process because of the challenges that comes with it. As well as there were subjective views of how schools should run and how one should organize their, their teaching. It is proven that students remain in these streams because they rarely get the encouragement, the motivation or the opportunity to do better. In other words, they are not even expected to do better. Isin Evans, she believed that streaming had a significant and long-lasting effect on students accessing knowledge and achievement, their self-esteem, or even aspiration for the future, the formation of social categories and relation to other students. It's um, we had a tracking system when I went to high school. Mm -hmm. This was in Long Island, New York, um, where the honors, gifted, above average students were A track. Your middle line students were B trackers, mm -hmm. where it did, I guess it was on level um, instruction, and then C level. For those who not necessarily are struggling, but your lower students, mm. um, or <laughs> as I have it, or just the students who didn't care to be an A or B tracker, like me. Mm. <laughs> like you. Like me. I wanted to be in C track. So I did just enough work to stay in C track. Not too much more. Because wow. the work is harder and more intensive in the AI tracks. I didn't want that. Not in high school, at least. An article published March 24, 2016, in the Jamaica Gleaner by Joe Ben Johnson, the, minister, the current Minister of Education, Senator Will Reed, has launched a new initiative Alternative Pathway to Secondary Education, that gear at serving all the needs of all the students in high school. However, the ministry is not ready to implement a policy banning streaming in schools, which could undermine this new approach. The minister says he will not now consider a direct policy mandating the discontinuation of streaming in schools. He went further to say 
it will in fact be a reframing and a reposition of secondary education in Jamaica. While he acknowledged that the unimpressive results over the years, including graduation of ill-equipped high school students, has influenced this new initiative.